ho de ho What's up guys? I'm not going to be keeping these shades on, I can tell you. Welcome to the end of year Christmas JNotion stream slash video called Return of the Christmas King. And as you probably have guessed, we're going to be playing one of my all-time favourite games, Return of the King, on PS2. Holy yes. I was going to do The Witcher, I was going to do Elden Ring, I was going to put some Modern Warfare in there and just thought... I actually just sat there and thought, you know what? This is the way to round off 2022. So welcome. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're ready for Christmas. I hope you're all keeping safe, keeping well, and looking forward to the festive break. This is probably going to be one of the last videos or streams that I'm going to put together for you guys this year. Only because, like everybody else, I'm going to be quite committed with family commitments i'm going to be busy moving rooms around and stuff ready for the new arrival in the new year so you're not going to see much of me over the next week or two but you will see me i will be streaming i will be putting out videos i will be putting out content as normal it just might not be as quick or as sharp or as often as it normally is so just bear with me but anyway we're going to play two types today in this stream in this video we're going to be going in two halves the first hour is literally going to be us enjoying return of the king we may get to the end of the storyline we probably won't but we're going to go for about an hour and then the last part of the video is going to be me just rounding up some of the highlights from the channel this year uh, sharing some of my best moments with you in terms of our achievements we're going to look at the playstation wrap-up basically for my PSN screen time, user time, and also some bits and bobs from the channel itself. So sharing all the wonderful moments of this year, sharing what games I've played the most, how much hours I've put into said game, and you probably guess which game is going to be. I've been harping on about it all year, even now. And we're just going to look through some of the accomplishments that we've got through collectively as a community this year. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you do, don't forget to leave one final thumbs up on the video. Feel free to subscribe as well if you're brand new to the channel. And why not head over to the channel homepage, hit the bell icon, and you'll be notified as and when any future content drops, including game walkthroughs, previews, podcast episodes, movie and TV reviews, all sorts of jazz, comedy shorts. It's all coming back in 2023, guys, so stay tuned. There's going to be a dish for everybody. But anyway, we're here. To safe middle earth so let's get cracking i'm probably not going to last very long with these shades on because i'm going to be honest with you i cannot see a damn thing i could sort of make out faint lines and shadows <laughs> it's, it's not going to be something i'm going to be able to keep up but let's have some fun with this amazing game I did contemplate a stream, but for the sake of going through the wrap-up, the community stuff at the end, it's not really going to work that well on the stream. So I'm going to put it together for you guys to watch at your leisure. I still remember this game coming out. I thought the two towers couldn't be beaten, and I still slightly prefer it, but I think this just replicates the two towers amazingly in every way, shape or form, and in some ways builds on it even more so. Yeah, the glasses need to come off. And I've just snapped them. Nice. <laughs> the things I do for this channel. <laughs> Bit of glue won't harm, will it? Bit of glue will sort it out. Fuck, I was going to wear them Christmas Day as well. Here we go. Yes. The power of the enemy is growing. So good. I miss the old school Sauron FMV cuttings as well. His puppet Saruman to destroy the people of Rohan. But to hell deep. To hell deep. Isengard has been unleashed. Oh, I forgot this is the Gandalf. 
opening level. To this day, they are still my favourite set of films. Just can't be beaten. Look to my coming at first light on the fifth day. At dawn, look to the east. For yeah. a wizard is never late, nor is he early. Gandalf. He arrives precisely when he means to. What I love about these games as well is the actors actually delivered more voice dialogue and lines specifically for the game. They didn't just take the movie clips and the sound samples, they actually recorded fresh new lines. Which I think is amazing. Absolutely seamless. Gandalf, welcome back. Take a few of these if you don't mind. No, oh, I will. I suggest a speed attack. He's a demon. He's a demon. Be gone. The new Gandalf has quite a temper! I find this one was a bit easier to get hold of combat wise. Shields. Legolas! Gandalf! Up here! The wall must be defended! Ah! Hurry! More are coming! Up this ladder! Here we go. I'm here, oh, man. Legolas. Legolas. Gather your power and unleash it. Knock their arrows aside. Yeah. Help me clear the causeway. Bring up the corner. Kill them all. We cannot wait to Aragorn. Oh no. Hurry, Gandalf! I am coming, Aragorn! Yeah, baby. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Boom! So good. Return to your master, creatures of shadow. So happy right now, guys. New my element. Victory! We have victory! Sauron's wrath will be terrible. His retribution swift. Swift. This is also co-op this game, which I thought was amazing. Two players on one screen, couch co-op. The battle for Middle Earth is about to begin. Yes, yes. Love it. Let me know in the comments though guys, what are your plans this Christmas? Are you staying at home? Are you hosting? I myself will be hosting. First time ever. Good and excellent ratings are worth more. Yes, yes. Yeah, the combat in this one just seemed to be a lot more pick up and play. It was easier to get hold of, if you see what I mean. A lot more fluid. Gandalf looks so happy in that picture.
Hey, got excellent rating. That's how we roll. Haven't played this game in how many years? Orc Bane, Fog of War. Yeah, I like Orc Bane. Sounds good. And I like Orc Hewer. Might get a copyright for this, but I don't care. It's worth it. Such great music as well, Howard Shore. How can you not enjoy it? I used to have the soundtrack on CD. The Eye of Sauron now turns to Gondor, the last free kingdom of men. His war on this country will come swiftly. He senses the ring will draw close, and the strength of the ring bearer will fail. In the end, this war must be decided by the smallest of things. For the ring yeah. wanted to be found. It's so good. It's My so task good. began when I beheld it upon the floor. More of PS2 Bag content End. will be coming next year, guys. I'm diving into the classics, even PS1 games, some of the originals that I played. Well, then I realized how cleverly it returned to the world of men. They will all be making an appearance on the channel, so make sure you stay tuned. My precious. Still questions needed answering. Secrets only Minas Tirith, ancient city of men, could reveal. The year 3434 of the Second Age. Here follows the account of Isildur, High King of Gondor, and the finding of the Ring of Power. <clears throat> it has come to me, the One Ring. It shall be an heirloom of my kingdom. All those who follow in my bloodline shall be bound to its fate, for I will risk no hurt to the ring. It is precious to me. Precious. <laughs> it was in this moment that all that must be done became terribly clear to me. I would weave a plan for a great war, yet count upon others as agents of our fate. So good. So it was the destiny of Aragorn, heir to the throne. All to fresh lead dialogue this war. as well, love it. I no, no, this was in the film. of every race fighting as companions alongside him. Together we would spring a great trap before the walls of Minas Tirith. It's a trap? No, nope, wrong franchise. But in truth, our war is but a diversion. For to destroy Sauron utterly, the ring must be taken to Mount Doom. And for this, our fate would lie in the hands of two small hobbits. Hobbits. For they, like us, will be in great peril. Yes. And if I remember rightly, you can now pick a path. Here we go. You can either go Frodo, Gandalf, or Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli. Let's have a quick look at the options. I think we're going to go down the middle initially. I might be wrong. Oh no. Path of the Dead, Path of the Wizard, we've got Road to Isengard, Minas Tirith, Minas Tirith Courtyard, the Black Gate, which is where everybody meets, and then the Crack of Doom, what she said. I really want to do the Path of the King, but I don't think, uh, uh the Hobbits, of course, She Loves Lair, Kirothongo. We're going to go for the Path of the King, but we're probably not going to get the Path of the King done. But it's alright. We will continue this in a continued playthrough. Do we be Mr. Elf or do we be the king himself? Kill him, move. Love this game. This was the whole. Swiftly behind the two towers, but I think two towers is to still my top war, Lord of the Rings game. We've we also got the, the third age as well, guys, and I'm going to be doing the fellowship as well. Lord of the Rings is going to make a big days. stamp on the Weaken channel next year. And lure his armies into our trap. 
this, I prepare a path for the return of Gondor's king. Sauron will be certain Aragorn and Sildur's heir received the ring of power. Aragorn also carries before him the only weapon Sauron cannot abide. His sausage. And the only power before which a dead king and his army might bow. The big sausage. <laughs> Pig in blankets. Set this trap. Aragorn and his companions must travel to the Dreamerborg. Deep inside this haunted mountain. City they of the will dead. Face terrible trials. They must overcome the wrath of an ancient cursed realm and summon forth its king. There is no Out longer of darkness, a Aragorn must call an army even Sauron's horde cannot withstand. For in our plans, the living cannot defend Minas Tirith without the fury of those long dead. Yeah. The way is shut. It was made by those who are dead, and the dead keep it. The way is shut. Malice lies heavy in the air. That's definitely John Reese Davis. The dead linger on this path, but we must walk it to the end. But I'm not sure that's Vigo Mortensen. I do not fear the dead. What kind of an army would linger in such a place? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not Vigo Mortensen or Orlando Bloom, but that's definitely John Reese Davis. You could tell. Maybe they couldn't get them for this bit. Maybe I don't know. Oh, so good. Look how good this game is. PS2. The spirits of the dead. Yeah, that's not Orlando Bloom. Definitely not. Be ready. These spirits bring ancient bones to life. That sounds I like him. Good luck to go. Oosh. The go up. Some health. So damn good. More spectres. Spectral form. We're gonna have to spare these fools. Kebab skewer style. Oh, you little shit. Da -da -da. Go on, Aragorn. Let him have it. I have a very bad feeling about this place. <laughs> it's the actual music as well there guys, it's what I love about it, it's got the full atmosphere of the movies. I think you have to fight the King of the Dead in a minute, I can remember him being a pretty tasty boss fight. Come on Legolas, you could have done that. Gimp. Music is 
epic. Bye. Although I think this is kind of like Casa Doom music from Fellowship. Still here for it though. Supposed to be going. Fine. Gimps. Yes, come on. I am a Sildozer! Oh shit, maybe not. Ooh. There. Guys, you gonna have a... So much for the fellowship, eh? Or the three hunters, should I say? We cannot pass. We are trapped here. We must find a way across quickly. Let's get rid of these. Go, go, go. Yeah, Rem. This way, with haste. No, well, actually, it sounds like it. it. Just doesn't sound like Orlando Bloom. Oh, there was a health thing there. I missed it. God damn it! I'll probably get this one anyway. It just makes you want to play Elden Ring as well. I think that's why I loved Elden Ring so much. Very similar to Lord of the Rings in terms of the lore. Enemies, the weapons, the world. Ah. Bit of swamp. You little shit. Yeah, if you could take them out, that'd be great. Oh my god. Oh. Nicholas is supposed to be quick fire, do you know what I mean? Oh my god. It timed out. Nice. Even by today's standards, the graphics aren't terrible, are they? I just remember be the PS2 being my absolute favourite console. I think it still is. There are some absolute badass games in that console. It smells like a bus fight. Ho ho ho, and a battle of yum. Yeah, man. That's I'll do. Let 
The Miss Swirl here as well. Swirly. It's all a bit swirly. This haunted mountain holds many surprises. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can't knock this game, can you? It's so good. I'm glad I picked it. As I said, guys, I will be doing a a longer playthrough of this on the channel. Probably in the new year, maybe before. Seeing how we go with timing and things like that. Oh, you look shit. But I'm definitely going to be doing Gandalf's path. We'll finish this path. We'll do the Hobbit's path as well. But basically, we're going to finish the game, is what I'm saying. We're going to do the whole game. Deserved it. Uh, nothing there. The loot is drawing me in. Have you learned nothing of the stubbornness of dwarves? This looks like a boss fight. Yep. We are close now. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, getting smashed up. Move. Did it fall over? Go, 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 go. Dicking about with that, getting straight through there. Just the boss. This is where the dead gather. Yeah. It is a place of great evil. Can't wait. No matter the peril, we must cross this. See, that sounds like Vigor Mortensen, but it just doesn't sound like a land of It might be. Might have just been hung over, though. Next. Kill 35. Yes. Wow. 
Level. That's why I said we're probably not gonna get this path down, this guys. Way. Anyway, would be fine about now. <laughs> Just a few Aragorn levels. Aragorn will be forced to rise above fear. For as king, he will need to stand against Sauron's malice and unite all who fear Mordor. Aragorn and his companions must first break the will of the King of the Dead. For Isildur cursed him, and now his heir must master his malice. Without this victory, our cause shall be forever lost. Timeless classics, these movies. Absolutely timeless classics. Love it, love it, love it. Damn, level three. What should we go with? Increase damage and get to perfect mid more quickly. L1, R1, L2, R2, all together, okay. Can we increase your health? Quite like that one. Yes, yes. So you got co-op percentage as well, and I think, if I remember rightly, you can unlock special characters like a sealed door. Not sure if that's the two towers one, but there's a few you can unlock by completing all paths of the game and 100% in it. It's boss time. We stick with Aragorn because he is the king of Christmas. The King of Christmas is back. I can remember this fight being insanely hard, but the beauty that you guys have got is if I struggle with it, place. I will just cut through. Well, a king <laughs> of those out. long dead commands the fate of those not born. He must be forced to yield. Who enters my domain? One who would hold you to your oath. The dead do not suffer the living to bad. I just remember having to. I shall bet you. And then something happens up here. Pretty sure that was black speech, but never mind. Nah, 
Nah, he's fine. We've done Elden Ring. What are we uh, worried about? time. Let's go. Oh, he's hulking up. Get out of here. Okay, done. That's definitely black speech. One ring to rule them all. Why is he saying that? <laughs> From the darkness of the mountain, come. Oh, shot in the back by his own mate. So good. It's nice that I haven't lost my touch with this game. I used to get really stuck on this when I first played it. Come on. Be a trophy pot in the current day. Yes. Bow. We must get out of here. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! Thank you for watching the video, ladies and gents. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, we need to escape. Hurry! Everything collapses. Everything collapses. It's all coming down! Hurry! I'd love a remake of this, even a remaster, just with haptic feedback, dual sense mapping, textured graphics. I'd love it. I'd absolutely love it. Oh! Keep on running.
there. Krampus is coming. Now has the flame in the west, the anduril, the candle, the flame, the Christmas cake. I don't even know what I'm talking about. The pan. <laughs> Get out of there. Just casually walking through the fog. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be. Dead are still here. Oh, that's a lot. Carnage. Get rid of these archers. We must get out. Tell me twice. Absolutely sandwiches, idiots. It's great. <laughs> Come on, do it. Oh my god. even mean when your people are closest to us does that mean like in location or you're about to die level four might have got a level five out of it actually maybe not a few perfects a few perfects very good 
nice. Wilderness Rage. Uh, let's get the early ones in first. Orc Bane. Range of Fury. Final Judgment. Rising Revenge, that's what I wanted. Balrog's Gambit. I forgot all the combos. I used to write these down on paper. So I can remember all the best combos. So many good games on PS2. I'm also going to do The Path of Neo next year, guys. I'm also going to do Enter the Matrix. I've got Third Age, as I said. We'll finish this one completely. We'll do the other paths. I want to go back and do the two towers again with different characters. And I've got Heart of Darkness on PS1. I've What else have I picked up? Loads of stuff. Batman Begins on PS2. There are some absolute bangers out there that we need to get our hands on. The Southern Gate. We might actually finish this path. We'll see how we do for time. We will see how we go. I just remember absolutely smashing the life out of this when I was off school over the Christmas holidays. I got it done within the day. And I just replayed it over and over and over Armed for two weeks. From an it was the greatest Christmas ever. Aragorn's road will at last lead him back to the White City. He shall head north and then through Gondor's southern gate, here to join the great battle of our time. Ah, so we're at Minas Tirith after this, and then it's the Black Gate. This, outer gate. Oh, good. this is a grim scene. I can smell orc evil. Oh, okay, Troll. Well, not necessarily Cave Troll, it's just a Troll. Ambush! We must get past him! It's a trap! Goodbye. Christmas King goodbye. Christmas King goodbye. Little 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 little. Climb the rubble quickly. Got it. Down here quickly. That could have ended badly. Let's stop and open the gate. Got it. No. You will not. You will not. Idiots. Oh yeah, now you turn up. Don't worry about it, lads. I've got it. You will not stop me. I think he might. Is there anything to throw at him? Don't play with him, Kevin. This makes us work. Is that it? Is he dead? Oh damn! That's the way. Yes. There's the Muma kill or the Oliphant. This is 
So good, isn't it? So good. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this bit. It's very nice. Strike him repeatedly. No in trouble. Negalash, do you fancy doing anything for me? Yes. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. How can he hit me in a cutscene? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I didn't mean to pretty quickly. Desperately. Yeah, that's it. Gate ever. A tower is ours. Mm, it might be Orlando Bloom. I don't know. I keep going on about it, but it's irritating me. I think it is him. I just think he Someone sounds horrible. They're trying to block us. So she's on them. Suckers. Try and whoop my ass. I'm the Christmas king, god damn it. Oh no! I need to get through that gate pronto. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm gonna hang out. Horns of Rohan, help! Comes at last! Hasten to them before the battle is won! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. In the movies, they arrive on ships, but we'll let that slide. It's a cool little level. I think we're getting fair on that one. Didn't do as good. Oh no, we got good. Give me the XP. Ah, oh, I forgot about the fellowship. Gambit, Warrior Bane, a man sized enemy. That'll do. For now. Classic memory cards. The good old days, so we have to save everything on a memory card. There's a couple of games like this day and age that do that, like Alien Isolation, Resident Evil, where you've got certain points you have to save in, and that is it. From 
Eleanor Fields, the Black Gate, Crack of Doom. Do you know what, guys? I reckon we should just push. Let's get the main king path done. Three more levels. Why the hell not? We're having so much fun. Well, I am. I hope you guys are as well. <laughs> it's not as fun watching it, I'm sure, but I can assure you it's amazing. It will require all of my skill and all of our luck. To spring a trap lifetimes in the making. In the end, it will be decided here, upon the fields of Pelennor, before the gates of Minas Tirith. From the south, Aragorn will summon forth an army from beyond the grave, but perhaps too late. No. For against our stronghold, the Dark Lord summons both man and beast to oppose us. An army of powerful forces, more terrible than we can imagine. And from the north, at my urging, Rohan shall ride to war, and the world's ending. Here we go. Here they come! Easterling! Orcs! Get them all! 60. They seem to be surrounding us. Where? Men of the East! Forward! Okay. Do not have men enough. It's just two armies. What are you worried about? It worked. It's cheap mode doing that, but... Come on! Yes! Yes! Death is online! <laughs> Death is online! Judging it. Lost my flare now. About. Check out my moves, bro. Hang on, let's see if there's any health flying about. The 
Oh no! Oh, I'm dead. Nice go come in. I don't think I'm supposed to be up doing this bit yet. Maybe. I don't need arrows, I need health. Random. Can't believe there's no health. Oh my god, that was a cheap shot. Oh, I'm dead. I'm in trouble. Damn, I might have to restart this up. The Mummer Kill destroy everything in the Marion Pippin. Stop the Marion Pippin. Um, Eowyn. <laughs> Got a checkpoint, thank God. Fire that! Bring them down! Smash them all! Fire! No, it's not doing it. I hope if I die I'm not going to have to redo all that again. Where is it? They shall all be trampled. Oh my god, I'm on the wrong side. Let's we'll run across. Fight our way up there. Yeah, it's not happening. I want you about his feet. Where is it? Whoa! How'd you get out there? Oh my god. Him slap by an orc. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Bring them down, bring them down. Yeah, this game's a lot more forgiving. Two towers was like, nah, you, uh, you can deal with it. Side, no. Yeah, the two towers was always brutal. It was like, 
you die during the level, that's it. There's no checkpoints. Don't worry about his feet. You're all to do. You're all on your own. It was pretty harsh. Is Legolas doing? Look, he's having a little stretch. You might have to. Oh no. Lady, I won't leave you. They must be saved. The Witch King circles above. Attack him quickly. The Witch King. I'm trying to find where the Witch King is. There we go. Side is it? Taking a gamble. Hey! <laughs> Think it's this side. Arrows. Ooh, dear. I can't do all of it. Three shots in. Oh, piss off, man. Well, which boy is going to be back in a minute? think they're dead. Uh, 
I'm nearly dead. Jeez. I think they're pretty screwed. Don't know about, uh, know what you guys think, but. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. Seriously. Ah, cheap shots. Yeah, they're dead. There is no way. Can I pick him up from this side? Yeah, yeah, they're dead. Too late. Failed. That is hard. Harder than a dick. A few moments later. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? This was a uh, similar to a level I struggled with on two towers. I did not like it. Just wait for it to line up, maybe. Fuck. How? Oh, nice, yeah. What the fuck? What exactly are you supposed to do? I'm gonna have one more go, and if this doesn't pan out, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I just don't understand why it's so difficult. A few moments later. Piss off. I will not. The cr the thing's in the way. No. No, no more. Fuck you bollocks to it no no more that's enough <laughs> so that is Return of the King <laughs> may not be coming back to that in a hurry but we got most of the path done I do recall there being some solid solid levels just like in the two towers and here we go evidence case in point I was getting smashed I got the Witch King down to red health and I was firing arrows at the bloody crossbow. I got pincered in between the damn soldier and the cross bolt, trebuchet, catapult, whatever. Whatever is what it is. I will come back to it. I will defeat it. But there we go, guys. So that's just a little bit of a playthrough, a little bit of a taster. Now let's move on to the roundup for this year i just want to say a massive thank you again for watching the gameplay i hope you enjoyed it even despite the difficult last level that we just played 
and didn't finish, but I will come back for it. I'm going to save it on the memory card, and in the new year, we will complete the playthrough of this game. We will finish the Path of the King, we'll go and do the Hobbit's path as well, and also the Path of the Wizard, Gandalf's journey, and complete the whole damn thing. Just so you lovely people can get to see more of this amazing game. And it is amazing, guys. Don't let the difficulty put you off. It's only a couple of levels that are really, really tricky. Other than that, it is good. Lord of the Rings. But anyway, let's move on to the channel and PlayStation wrap-up of the year. We're going to move swiftly into 2022. Bring into a close. Checking out all the things that we've loved this year. Some of the great achievements that we've achieved collectively. And also some of the games that I've played. How many hours I've put into it, etc. So let's dive in. So, starting with the Sony 2022 wrapper. This is everything PSN, guys. So all PlayStation exclusive stuff. We're going to go through total playtime. For Mr. J Notion, in 2022, you play for 1,000, Jesus Christ, 283 total hours. And we're going to take a look at where we spend most of our gaming time this year, find out what kind of a gamer we were. 130 more hours played than the year before, and 11% more playtime. In it to win it. Uh, well, so we got 89% of your total playtime was on PS5 titles, 1,142. 10.9% of your total playtime was on PS4. 852 hours played locally. That's quite a lot, actually. But thinking about it, a lot of that was put into Elden Ring, which you'll see is, I think, my most top played game of the year. 431 hours played online. Most of that, again, is Elden Ring, but also Modern Warfare 2 is catching up to this with swift speed. Zero hours spent in VR. Didn't do any VR games in the year. Uh, 236 total number of days played. That is a lot. That is a lot. Horizon Forbidden West, that's global statistics. We're going to move through that. We also unlock an exclusive avatar, apparently. So this is onto our games. In 2022, we played 69 games out of everything you played, which were the top five. Could you guess my top five? You probably could. Number one, Elden Ring. 535 hours logged. 41% of my total playtime for the year has been on this amazing game which by the way got game of the year very very well deserved i was very pleased and there's not much more to say other than buy elden ring and play elden ring if you haven't played it yet it's an amazing game vanguard that was multiplayer 199 hours 15 percent. this is creeping up massively i'm loving this at the minute especially the multiplayer the invasion modes shipments even fun if you want to level up your guns i'm also loving the beta dmz mode which is free on warzone as well 129 hours that's going to be big for 2023 this game earth defense force this is more to do with uh, the games that i play with my son 47 hours log so this is a great shooter it's uh, lots of fun it's a japanese game that's been ported over to america and the uk we're hoping for edf6 next year um, but basically you kill massive insects and aliens with different soldiers it's good fun bit of mindless shooting and number five was Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, 29 hours logged. Mainly that was the campaign, but I did do a lot of zombies on that as well. So there is your top five. Call of Duty and Elden Ring, basically, <laughs> which is no surprise to me. This is a given. Absolutely still loving this. I can't wait for the DLC. I've already tried the Coliseum patch update and it's great. If you guys haven't done Elden Ring or you're really stuck with it, I am always up for jumping in and helping people. So please do reach out. If you're stuck on any particular section of the game, always need an excuse to jump back in. Favourite genre, no surprise, RPG games. That's a combination of God of War, Ragnarok and also Elden Ring. 575 hours in total logged in this genre, which is crazy. Four games played. Uh, I'm trying to think what the other two would have been. Probably Metro or something like that. 76 total trophies earned. Love God of War Ragnarok as well. I've got a playthrough of that on the channel if you guys are interested in going and checking it out. Amazing. So 69 top games and let's look at the trophies. New trophies earned 842. Pretty good. Pretty good, right? Out of those, 21 of them are Platinums, which I think is pretty decent. 2% of the total trophies. 207 of those were Gold, 25%. 178 were Silver, 21%. And 436 were bronze. So over half were bronze, which is, you know, a given. 
They're the most common trophy in all the games. Major trophy milestones, key trophy highlights. Little Big Planet, I don't remember playing that, but there you go. That's the first ever trophy in 2009. That was the first game I ever played as a PSN account user, which is crazy. And the latest one, that's I think out of date now, because I've got some from uh, The Witcher 3 that's not updated on there, but this was sent to me a few days ago, so it's not included in anything that's happened since. And that was when we were doing the Callisto Protocol on the 6th. There's some stats for Gran Turismo, which we are going to be playing at some point. Even if we just do a stream on it, I think it'd be good to just drive around, do a few races, and enjoy the jazz. Plus, created access to 768 games, which is good and it sounds good, but I think still Xbox Game Pass is pissing all over us. I think we need to get better at this Plus stuff, give us some more top-tier AAA games from day release. Um, but also give us access to stuff that we want. We want to get access to those old school PS2 and 1 games like Lord of the Rings, Path of, you know, The Matrix, um, the Splinter Cell series, Silent Hill. We want to get access to all those games. Metal Gear Solid. There's so many out there that we haven't got access to that we even cannot stream through the Plus service, which is crap. So sort it out, Sony, please. Uh, your time with Plus... 153 hours spent playing multiplayer with plus games and 122 ps plus games added i tend to as and when they come out i just go in add them straight to my library through the ps app even if i don't play them because i think it's free i'm going to play it at some point so i'm just going to add it don't need to play it straight away no surprise there top online multiplayer game was elden ring uh, this is the most played games of PS Plus, which I'm not interested in. Stray, which was also a great game. We also did a playthrough of that on the channel. We also got the Platinum Trophy for that one. So if you want to go and check that out, go and have a browse. So that is J Notion on the PlayStation side of things. Done. Annual highlights. 1,283 hours played. 69 games played. 842 trophies. And 122 PS Plus games. Elden Ring was my top game and remains my top game of all time, I might add. Still enjoying it. It's a fantasy world filled with bosses, exploration, lore, characters, combat, weapons. You name it, it's there. It's the fantasy RPG dream. And because I'm such a fan of game, you know, films and games like Lord of the Rings, uh, Skyrim, The Witcher, Elden Ring, it, it's, it's up there. So what a year what a year we are now going to switch over to the final part of the video which is going to be the channel highlights for 2022 just some achievements and some crazy facts and figures i want to share with you guys because you have been part of this community for the whole year and i just really want to say from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for all the support for if you've ever left a like on the video if you've ever left a comment if you've ever visited one of my streams if you've ever checked out any of my videos for longer than 10 seconds you have in some way supported the channel and helped it grow we're just coming up to three and a half thousand viewers now. I'm hoping to push into 4,000 by the end of January, February, and it's just continuing to grow. And I just love making content with you guys, making new friends, uh, getting to know each and every one of you, getting to know, you know, your likes, your dislikes, having a rant about the world in the live streams, having a good laugh and a joke quite often at my expense, which is absolutely fine. But, you know, it's this is what the channel has been put together for. But anyway, soppiness aside, back into YouTube mode. So the channel, J Notion, our snapshot for the year, we've had 133.6 thousand total views. That is nuts. That's absolutely nuts. I'd be happy if I had three. I'd be happy if I had three for the whole damn year. And like I said, guys, a while ago, this channel was put together mainly as a hobby. I did media studies at school. I did sort of this kind of work, if you like, uh, as part of my college, I did a level in sort of you know video editing and i was always interested in the backstory to how people put together like production in videos cinematography lighting special effects i was always really interested in stuff like that and i think leaning into media studies at college also helped me fuel a bit of a passion i grew up watching youtube in the very early days and as most of us can attest to or have at some point witnessed pewdiepie was my absolute idol Loved watching all his content. I love the old school horror videos that he used to do. Very basic camera. Just letting his personality just absolutely shine through on it. And the comedy in these videos is excellent. I highly recommend you guys go and watch his Bloodborne playthrough if you haven't watched it. 
it's something that is probably the one thing editing the experience and just the entertainment overall the one-liners and the things he used to come out with that actually steered me towards youtube uh, youtube officially um also jacksepticeye you know there's there's loads of them that i really sort of have grown up watching and i think youtube has been introduced to me through that and it's kind of grown my hobby into an interest into a passion into something that has become amazing in terms of what it is now um 188.6 thousand watch time minutes absolutely nuts almost quarter of a million minutes that's crazy 7464 likes amazing 940 new subscribers almost a thousand new subscribers throughout the year and apparently august was the month with the most views summer love him um top videos viewed of the year no surprise there the bat cave i bet you guys thought what the hell is he doing but if you haven't seen that go and check it out i went to kind of remember the name of the falls now henrid falls which is based in wells where i live um about an hour or so north of where we live and it's around the brecon beacons area in sort of like a national park and it's the bat cave from the chris nolan trilogy specifically the dark knight rises but you see a little bit of it in the dark knight as well but from the third film with christian bell and tom hardy as bane it's absolutely amazing it's the bat cave the outside of it at least anyway um, with a little bit of cgi but go and check that one out also the starlight blue unboxing and review i am going to be doing some more faceplate and ps5 tech stuff reviews next year um again going to be a little bit more hands-on with the the unboxing videos i did just post of one um a video around the dnd board game unboxing but i want to get some more unboxing videos for you guys throughout the year and the resident evil tv series review apparently is quite popular now i would recommend you don't watch the tv series watch the review if you want but don't watch the tv series but if you want a little bit of a laugh and see me rage a little bit then go and check that one out only five shorts uploaded now this is probably down to the content i wanted to focus on but even so 2814 views on the shorts themselves bearing in mind there's only five of them it was mainly just the the parody stuff but i'm going to be doing a bit more of that next year this was a good one not backwards compatible viking stuff batman day nice apparently the top countries viewing your channel united states kingdom and india thank you guys so much appreciate each and every one of you you reach final boss status 44.9 thousand total live stream minutes that is incredible 27.8 thousand total live stream views amazing most watched live stream realms at war god of war ragnarok ending and review probably you guys wanted to just see i assume the ending because i battered that game in a matter of days when it came out I booked the week off work, absolutely smashed the game in, loved it, 10 out of 10, and the review's in there as well. But bear in mind, it's going to obviously contain spoilers, but if you guys aren't worried about spoilers, go and check that video out. I talk about the game in depth, what I liked about it, um, what I didn't like, very little. Uh, thankfully, it was an amazing experience, and I highly recommend you go and play it. It's one of PS5's finest, if not the finest piece of work, apart from Elden Ring, that's been put, uh, put together, and you need to witness it. Thank your fans. Always, always, always. Just to summarize again, 7,464 total likes, 188,000 total minutes watching the channel. 3,917 days since your first upload. I think that's when the channel went live. We didn't actually start posting content on the channel until 2020, I believe. So it's been two years now, pushing into three that we've been actually posting. But I've had an account on YouTube for a while, but... We've only been using it as a content channel for the last couple of years. But even so, that's amazing to see. Good to look at. 766 all-time shares. I'm assuming that's like videos and stuff. All-time comments are on there. Or is that people that have shared videos and things like that? Maybe. I don't know. Create a short. And there we go. That is the channel in a nutshell. So again, just looking at these numbers are absolutely staggering. I've never, ever, ever in my wildest dreams believed that the channel would take off as much as it did as much as it has and as much as it continues to do so every single piece of that success is down to each and every one of you again thank you so much if you've ever spent time watching one of my videos if you've left a like if you've left a comment if you've shared the video if you subscribe to the channel every little thing that you do helps project the channel out into the wider world and there's loads and loads of channels out there there's millions as you guys know 
and even just to get the kind of numbers that we're getting now is an absolute amazing achievement which i'm really proud of and like i said i'm doing this as a hobby i'm doing it as a bit of a stress relief so as, as a bit of downtime it's my interest it's something that i love building a community with like-minded people i love having a bit of a laugh i love having you know a little bit of a banter with people and if we can do that amongst my hobby that i absolutely love which is gaming video editing clowning about talking about movies talking about tv series is series is, is, is talking about game previews talking about upcoming um you know tech unboxing stuff with you we are going to get back on the podcast i promise i know i've been going on about it all year but i will get the podcast back in next year you have my word on it um so there's a lot of content in there and i think it's amazing really to look back from that very first video I think was Control where I posted a playthrough of it. It was on a really shit laptop. I had a shit camera. <laughs> I had no microphone really. Um, the video quality was terrible. There was a lot of echo in the room. The quality of the game capture card itself was rubbish because I was running it on a laptop and I just didn't have a clue what I was doing. And even just going back now and looking at how far we've come in terms of the presentation of the videos the way that I am hopefully on camera, the way that, you know, I interact with you guys, the way that we've built a community together. It's just amazing, really, when you look at it. And that's my soppy moment over. So thank you so much for what's been an amazing year. I hope to see each and every one of you in 2023. As I said, lots of content coming down the, the pipeline. I will get that damn level done on Return of the King. We will complete Return of the King. As I said, I want to go back into a little bit more of classic content, not just the big hitters, the big AAA games that come out. I want to keep all the usual content coming, but I want to dabble into the past a little bit, dive into some of the classics, the PS1, PS2 era, even some of the PC stuff, some of the old school stuff, get it all on there and relive some amazing gaming moments with your lovely people. Stay tuned for the live streams, stay tuned for the videos. And as I said, guys, if you have enjoyed this very festive, albeit sometimes grumpy Christmas video slash stream, please do leave a thumbs up on it and let me know. In the comments what you'd like to see for 2023 on the channel reach out to me via twitter psn or youtube directly i'd love to hear from you but that's me done officially closed i may come back for another cheeky stream or a video before the end of the year but if i don't i wish you all a very merry christmas i hope you have an amazing one all the best wishes for the new year i wish you all the peace happiness and love in the world you are all amazing thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you again very very soon we'll be back crazier than ever. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great one. Take care. Eat loads. Stay fat. Bye.